the Gato Engine editor is getting a new look, at least when version 4.6 rolls around. So the custom theme made by Passive Star, amongst others, is likely going to become the default theme for the Gato Engine editor in the near future. This is actually kind of a funny story. I had made a, a post about some script editor plugin that I had created, and someone asked me, what theme am I using? Well, I said, Passive Star. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna say, I really think we should make Passive Star's theme the default theme for the editor. I made a post about that on Twitter and Blue Sky. A lot of people agreed. Some people didn't agree, and I, I understand where they're coming from. Well, Emmy Emilio, the executive director of the Gatto Foundation, commented with this, to which I asked, can I quote you on that? And he said, I mean, I was gonna start a whole petition thing, but I guess that works. Now, there are a couple of things. One, it's not gonna get rid of the default theme as it is now. It's just gonna be like classic Gatto. That's gonna be a theme. You can always pick it. And of course you can change the custom colors on Passive Star. Makes a lot of improvements with the UI in terms of spacing and, and other things. So that's number one. The blue theme is not going to magically get erased. Two, there is some work that's gonna to have to be done in the back end uh, to make the engine fit because there are some changes within this custom theme that that need to be addressed within the actual uh, source code. So that's gonna take a little time, which is probably why it's for 4.6. I think it's a good thing. I understand that not everyone is gonna like the look of it. Not everyone likes dark everything. And it is true that there's a sense of putting a fresh coat of paint on something. Oftentimes, especially when it comes to software, is to cover up things that they don't want you to, to think about or ask about anymore. The connotation is a massive visual update often comes with making the software harder to use. The software itself is not changing. It's gonna work the same way. I think it's a more mature look. And when it's the first thing that people see or, or open up when they're trying the engine, I do think it helps to present in a, a professional, mature way. Um, not everyone's gonna agree with that and that's totally okay. Uh, I, I like the blue theme too. If you'd like to support Passive Star and the others are working on the theme, you can go to the link in the description to, to star that repo. I think they're at like 3000 stars at this point, which is, which is awesome. The other point that I'd like to make, I don't think software like Unity or Unreal or any game dev adjacent commercial software would ever ever, ever, ever allow the face of their software, the look of their application, be done by some third party not associated with the company. So I do think it's pretty cool that the community, the Gato community and uh, a third party can have so much pull and backing for what they've done to improve the engine that it, it gets accepted into the engine. I think that's pretty cool. And finally, the good news is you don't have to wait. You can just install the theme now and try it out. So uh, link in the description, check it out. Very easy to install. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, keep creating.